Dave Stoblin here, and we are going to answer the question, what is a discontinuity? Let's do a very simple rational function. In the numerator, we have a very simple polynomial. It is a constant monomial. And in the denominator, we will have a linear monomial. So these are both uh, polynomials. A rational function is polynomial divided by polynomial. Now, let's make a table of values so we can graph this. And I'm going to start with negative 2. And so if we plug that in, 1 divided by negative 2 is negative half. In fact, I'm going to do these in decimals. If we plug in a negative 1, we would have 1 over negative 1, so negative 1. If we plug in a half, we would have 1 divided by 1 half. Whenever you divide by a fraction, you change it to multiply by the reciprocal. And if we did uh, negative 1 quarter, you'd have 1 divided by negative quarter. So multiply by the reciprocal. We have negative 4. Now what happens as we get, and let's, let's go ahead and graph this as we're going along. So negative 2, we have negative half. Negative 1 is negative 1. Negative half is negative 2. And then at quarter is negative 4. What happens when we plug in 0? Well, you have 1 divided by 0. That is undefined. So you know what? Now we have the spot which is undefined. And you know what I see happening? I see this function that's looking like this. It appears that we have an asymptote at x equals 0. Well, what happens when we go positive? If we do a quarter, let's see, 1 divided by a quarter, you multiply by the reciprocal, you get 4. So a quarter is going to be 4. If you plug in a half, it's 1 divided by a half, which is 1 times 2. So now we have 1, we got 2. If you plug in the number 1, 1 over 1 is 1. So that's going to be like right there. If you plug in a 2, you're going to get a half, which is right there. And it looks like we have a function that goes like this. So, what is a discontinuity? A discontinuity occurs when you divide by zero and you get undefined. So discontinuity is a divide by zero. And when that happens, you end up with a vertical asymptote. All right, one last thing. Let's see what it looks like on the calculator y equals 1 over x. Press the graph button, and there it is. It also looks like, by the way, we have a horizontal asymptote. We'll talk about that later. Alrighty, that's it.